Yeah. So, another video. We'll be posting this up in Workshop Madness because my boys have got an idea. They've been wanting a go-kart. They've been wanting a go-kart so bad here lately. And the four-wheelers are down. Every one of them. We got a Polaris 350 two-stroke. I'm going to have to strip down to the long block and send it off, have it rebuilt. But uh, <clears throat> we got some donor four-wheelers up here, and we got a Kawasaki. It's got the shaft driven. It's Kawasaki Bayou. And we were brainstorming and got an idea. We're going to tell you about it. All right. Here's the graveyard. That's one of them old Japanese models. Uh, they rode it till it was toast. There's my handy dandy John Deere 210. Believe it or not, I still got the deck for that somewhere. That's what helped clear this front part of the property before I got the big skid steer with the uh, agricultural brush mower on it. Behind you. And then tomorrow. Believe it or not, that little thing right there helped us do a lot. That's Tanner's um, wheel horse over there, his project that. Uh, uh, it's kind of still. Um... <clears throat> we need to get, mine, do something with. No, here we go. Told y'all, we're fanatics for these little garden tractors. Uh, 60s, 70s, 80s, even early 90s. That right there is a Simplicity uh, 3410. Um, it's a landlord edition, um, which is pretty rare. Um, anyway, got the motor for it sitting down at the shop. It runs. We're just going to, yeah, they popped it open. They just knew how to make stuff back then. That's belt driven right there. But I'm here to tell you, it will not slip. This will pull a plow. Um, manual three speed. They just built them differently. Not like today's junk. The reason why I want to get my tractor down is because it's still kind of messed up. Uh, and I've been sanding it and now it's frustrating. Well, it happens, buddy. Here's the donor. Here's what we got an idea on. Like I said, it's got the third member. Posi track, differential lock on it. And, uh... That's a good rear end. That's a good four wheeler. Other than the motor, we don't know nothing about it. The motor, we don't. We know got it from much. Uncle John. But what I pitched an idea to the boys. Not like we ain't got enough projects right now. And also, there's a see right there, a differential lock. That little red lever right down there locks differential in. And of course, you got the front. Um. Let's see here, yeah. The front independent double wishbone suspension on it <clears throat> can be taken off. So use that rear end and use the conjunction with this independent front clip. And then take some Schedule 20, Schedule 40 tubing. And you want to know what you got then? <clears throat> you got what the boards are calling go-kart back in Dad's time. It was called a doom buggy. <laughs> uh, go-kart was... Set low to the ground. I rode on gravel roads and flat surfaces out here. Um, rolling hills and uh, will not work with a traditional go kart. But a dune buggy, or to today's society, people call them side by sides. Expensive as all get out. <clears throat> $20,000, piece of machinery. But. That right there would be a perfect donor chassis for the front and the rear, and then figure out a motor configuration. Well, Dad's got enough savvy with the welder. Like I said, with some scheduled 40 pop, we could build the frame around it and have, make however much clearance you want. Probably the same as on, a, on the four wheeler itself, have at least a, a foot of clearance underneath. Two things. One, it'd give the boys something to ride. Two, it'd give them something to ride together. Um, if your kids are anything like mine, they don't like sharing. Um, so for them to uh, have this and be able to participate together would be mind blown. So that's the idea around it. Um, it could work and it could happen relatively quick. Um, grab some pipe, 
of the scrap yard. Start welding. Um, I've got a few motors in the shop. I've even got an 18 horse Kohler. Well, all we got to do is figure out a uh, finagle and a way of clutch off the PTO shaft going to that third member drive shaft rear end on that Kawasaki. See, that's another thing I like too. All mine, I burnt clutches up, burnt uh, uh, chains, broke chains, uh, linkages. Couldn't tell you how many linkages I went through. Probably enough to to buy me a nice piece of equipment. <laughs> But uh, always burned up clutches, always broke chain links, burned up belts. Dad, I had that would be perfect because it's shaft driven and gets you a good electric clutch. And hey, I've got, matter of fact, I got an electric clutch off the 420 donor that we got. Flip the toggle switch, electric clutch engages on the PTO shaft, and there you go. Hey, Dad, um, you're going. We need an to buy idea. a new sticker, Dad. Anyway, but well, it's got to be able to slip too or something's going to break on it, so... Anyway, that's the uh, Tuesday machine. That's in the details. It'll be happening later. But anyway, uh, y'all comment. And give me some ideas. Uh, so I'm going to make this happen. Um, we're going to. My boys have went for a year and a half now. Players went down. I believe the, uh, the water pump went out in it and toasted the rings. Um, and anyway, I found a guy on, on uh, Craigslist. No, not Craigslist. I found a guy on eBay. He's a retired technician or whatever for Polaris. It's all he does. Um, and he warranties his work. And I can get a complete new rebuilt engine, crank, crank and all. I mean, just going through brand new uh, for about 900 bucks. And just pay the shipping there and the shipping back. So I believe that's how we're going to go with that four-wheeler. Um, it'll be a good farm four-wheeler. reason why I got it. But <clears throat> this will be a good project to get the boys in something they can ride around. They can scoot over trees with it, uh, jump little hills if they wanted. And also, um, Dad, if we flip, it will be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm gonna put, we can put harness, uh, five-point five harnesses in it and uh, helmets if need be. So. And also, Dad, we need to buy a new sticker for my um, tractor. Four-wheeler? Yeah. The entire thing was a big sticker. I don't okay. know how I noticed that. I... Well, anyway... Uh, one of many projects works out madness here on the farm. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make this happen. It's it's high time because they uh every young little boy needs a uh, piece of machinery to fly by the seat of the pants on. <laughs> uh, I grew up that way. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Just make it safe for them. Put harnesses in it, helmets, and uh. Let her rip tater chip. So, anyway, y'all have a good evening. We'll get back at you later. This was just a short little video explaining. Uh, whew, arm getting tired. Explaining what uh what we what, what we'd like to do, what we'd like to accomplish with that. So, um, as always, they're gonna help. <laughs> and uh, we'll take videos as we go along. But y'all see the uh, the Frankenstein Mandis. We'll just call it that. Frankenstein Mobile. So, y'all have a good evening. We'll catch you later. <laughs>